it's tidier. Yeah? A drip tip. It's not a review, it's a look at some drip tips uh, and why I think of them. Uh, these came to me courtesy of vapelab.de and I'm going to try pronouncing the guy's name and I will fail miserably here. Is it Hiko? I'm sure it's Hiko. He's probably watching this and laughing his ass off. Uh, but anyway, um, so he got in touch with me and said, would you like to try some of our drip tips? I said, yes, okay, and uh, fired them out and uh, had a look. And here's one of them right now on top of my Cobra and my point. Um, and they really are quite stunning. Of course, it doesn't affect the vape. Uh, well, some might say they do, but um, the finishing on them is quite, uh, I've got to say, is very impressive. But they have just actually won. <laughs> I didn't know. There's a, a TV show, uh, a vape TV show in Germany. Uh, I think it's called uh, Steam Team, just reading here. Yep. And uh, Vape Labs Drip Tips just won the best accessory for 2013. Who would have thought? That's quite a uh, best accessory. Uh, it's pretty good for a set of drip tips, I have to say. Um, anyway, I thought I'd pitch that in there. Well, actually, he told me to put it in there because he's been dying to tell people. Anyway, <laughs> what we'll do is we'll change the camera angle and go in and we'll have a close look at these. Right, here are all the drip tips. And we'll uh, find a, a, a pointy implement. Here we go, there's a pointer. And we'll start with this one. Uh, this is the Popeye, and this is 70 mil in height. This one. Uh, we have the Wave, the Barrel, the Hopper, the Slotty, and the Edgy. And Happy and Grumpy are missing. Anyway, um, what we'll do is we'll take you in for a, a bit of a close-up look now. The first thing that strikes you when you, you get the, well, when I open these, is the finish on them. Uh, now, don't get, I mean, I've had a hell of a lot of drip tips over the time, but this has got, it's like a yeah. gloss finish on it. It's like a highly polished stainless steel, but the actual material that's used, it's a mix of stainless steel and titanium. Uh, which makes the, the actual drip tips themselves a lot lighter. Uh, the machining is perfect. Uh, it's absolutely perfect. I mean, and each one's got the, the twin O-ring on the bottom there as well. Um, now, my fingerprints are going all over this, but I, I really cannot begin to explain how nice they are. So there you go. There's the Popeye close-up. There's the wave. So again, you've got the cut out there. The, you know, you've got a slight cut out there. They have the barrel. Focus. Very nice. This is the hopper. I really like this. I really, really like this. It's beautiful to vape with. Um, the hopper. And the slotty is perhaps my other favourite one. I just love the slots cut into it. I mean, they are minute, tiny little slots. Uh, There we go. And last but not least, we have the edgy. And that's us. That's them all. Uh, right. Had a little close up. Let's change the camera again. Okay. Uh, I'll go through this quickly. Uh, we've done the close ups. Uh, first thing. So each drip tip here is 14 euros 90. 
Uh, I'll just double check that. And yeah, 14 euros 90. Yeah, I wonder if I can get shipping prices here as well. Uh, unfortunately, my German isn't that great, but it looks like international it's 550 euros. And uh, Germany, 350, I'm guessing here. Uh, I could be well wrong, but there you go. Uh, right, I'm going to use my. Uh, my trusty, uh, my god, <laughs> trusty, my favourite device for uh, trying out drip tips and whatnot is the Silver Dog because it's one of my favourite looking devices. Um, so this is the Popeye. You know, I mean, this would be better suited to like a pipe or something like that. Uh, god knows what this has got. Do you know what it's like? Do you know what the material feels like? Now, I'm pretty. I take a lot of my mods and polish them up and I finish them off with like a 3000 grit, a really fine grit and it gives the stainless steel a really baby bum smooth finish and it's got that kind of finish to it, it's really nice. lot cooler by the time it gets up to there. Uh, I don't really have the devices here that would do this any justice. Um, I mean, I'll, I'm not going to vape with them all. I'm not going to bore you to tears with that. That would be uh, too much. But, uh, you know, there's a look with one on, you know, that's the barrel. No, that's the waves, sorry. That's quite nice looking that. Um, this is the barrel. My favourite. Or get in there for a bit. The hopper. I'll have to quit vape with this. It's really nice to it. Really like that one. And <laughs> the slotty. That is gorgeous. That is a really nice one. I just love that. that. That's doing it for me. And last but not least, I love the edgy, which actually looks really good in the silver dog. And there we go. And yes, I've changed my clothes. I actually recorded the bit in the middle. Uh, a week and a half ago, something like that, um, and uh, I've just updated it now, just to include the the fact that they won that uh, you know that award. Um, I'm back. This is this is my favourite one out of the lot. I have to admit, uh, I think it's just a wee stunner. Um, Right, I mean that's it. I can't say much more other than get yourself along to Vape Lab. Uh, it comes up as shop.vapelab.de, but vapelab.de gets you to the same place. Um, first off, I'd like to thank Hiko for sending these on to me. Uh, I really enjoying them. I uh, like them a lot. Um, that's the finishing on them. It's is it Roto? He actually said to me. Um, now, what was it again? Roto polishing. Uh, roto, that's gone. Um, and that's that something to do different that gets that finish on them. Uh, and it's just, you know, well, most folk know me. I just love highly polished stuff and floats my boat. Uh, so that's it, guys. As always, thank you very much for watching, and uh, we'll catch up with you soon. Cheers now. Bye.